Good morning. Good morning. It is about 5 a.m. I just finished up my makeup. I have my IFB in right now, and that's how I hear what the anchors are doing. They just started the morning show. But I just finished getting ready. I'll show you where I am right now. This is our makeup counter. I'm going to take this out because it's kind of loud. Um, as you can see, kind of a mess. All the girls just got ready here. Every morning shift, I bring this bad boy to work. So a lot of people think that reporters look glamorous or have this little purse. I always bring like this giant duffel. It has everything. So if I go out on breaking news, I'm going to need more layers. So it's more coats, hat, gloves, uh, as a dress in case I like end up being in studio doing some anchor stuff. And then just like some odds and ends like that. But what is today going to look like? So today my story is I'm doing live shots on the morning show. You do a lot of lives. So I'm actually going to a bar where later today they're having a St. Baldrick's fundraiser. So we're gonna preview the fundraiser. St. Baldrick's um, raises money for childhood cancer research by people pledging to shave their heads. So every half hour on the morning show, we're gonna be like shaving a head live. It's gonna be a really fun morning. Very excited for it. Very excited for you guys to do it with me. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Right now I am at my desk. I will not show it because it's I'll show. It's pretty messy. It's pretty gross. Take a look. This is where I get ready for the day. So I'm going to sign into my computer. And before I go out to my story, I mostly just look over all my emails. This is kind of the rundown for the show. So the producers go through this. And this is how they stack where everything's going to be. So right there it says Sarah. That means I had a front end studio. I'll go in the studio and I'll front. So I'll present that story on screen and then I'll go out in the field. What I am just now remembering is before I go out in the field too, this morning I'm gonna be doing different live shots. I um, am supposed to write anchor intros. So when the anchors toss to someone in the field, they'll say, this is what's going on today. So-and-so joins us live in the field. I need to write those for the anchors. I also need to put some information on our website and some other little things. Haven't done that. I completely forgot to do that part. Oh my goodness, coffee. And actually, I think I'm gonna write all that stuff in the car because I do have that 20 minute drive. I'll give a little tour right now. So, this is the newsroom where you see news happening. This is Max, it's a weekend, so not a lot of people are here, but Hello. he's our producer. Max, what do you do throughout the morning? I stay beautiful. Oh, yeah. Full-time job. <laughs> and I produce, which is basically writing all of the stuff that the anchors read. Wow. And I set up, you know, the where the stories are going to go and when the stuff's going to come on. I also comb through all of your anchor chats. So anytime <laughs> you post anchor chat, I'm the one who's picking them out. Fantastic. Anchor chat is something that the anchors do on the morning show. They ask like a question and then they post it on Facebook and then everyone sends in their answers, like all the viewers, and then they talk about it the next day. Back here is where the beautiful meteorologist Candace Monticelli is. Hello. How what are you up to? Good, good. I am getting things together and about to go on air for a little tease to tease our full forecast. Oh la la, this is, yeah. I don't actually even know this. This is where all the weather happens? Yeah, this is all the graphics and things. So that's most of the newsroom. See in the studio, producer, Candace, back here. This is where a lot of our editors are. That's where they put together all of the pieces. So the way a story actually works is that we find it, we pitch it in the morning news meeting a lot. That room right there. Um, and then a lot of the producers pick what they think is the news of the day. So what's like the most important stuff. Then the reporters, a moi, and a photojournalist go out, we interview people, we get all the video, we come back here, I write down every single word of that interview. So if it's like a 20 minute interview, then I sit at my desk for God knows how long. Sometimes I feel like hours. I log, transcribe every single word of that interview. And then I use those sound bites, it's called a SOT, to write the story. I write the story, send it in, it gets approved, then someone back in one of those editing bays puts it together, and then it goes on air. 
and that's how all the magic happens. But this morning, first things first, we're gonna do the live shots, which are my favorite thing to do, so that's our main task. So we are at the live shot right now. People are shaving their heads for St. Baldrick's. We're gonna be live five times throughout the morning. So we just went live at 6.30 a.m. We still have seven, 7.30, eight, and 8.30, which means we have four more heads to shave. This all raises money for childhood cancer research. So the joke going on is a lot of people are like, Sarah, why don't you shave your head? That's not happening, that's not happening, that's not happening, but I will donate. We'll give you a live preview and tell you why Steven is shaving his head coming up on Fox 17 News. Hey, good morning. Hey, well, good morning to the both of you. That is exactly right. Over 100 people are going to be shaving their heads this morning. This is a list. These are the times. It all kicks off at 12 today. Goes for about five hours. As you can see, there's still some openings, so that could be you. And whether you are rooting for Michigan or state today, you gotta be a fan of the green. We have been shaving heads all morning long. Slightly smaller goal, but still really important. 800 right now. So there is a number at the bottom of your screen. That's the number that you can call to donate. Our Brody Alyssa, hopefully we get some calls because once again, we really want to take a swipe at Austin's <laughs> head. And this is a really awesome to event. That. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks for that, Sarah. So I just got back to the office. Um, we did about five different live segments. And now I'm going to take that story today that we are live for, and now I'm gonna create a package. So that's when I take all those different sound bites and I write a piece, and then it's gonna air kind of as a recap tonight on the news. These are all of the interviews from this morning. And then I watch them back, that whole thing, those are their sound. And then I log it here. So here's what I've done so far. And these are all notes from different days, all my different scripts. So this is um, not my favorite part. I always say someday someone's gonna create like a software that does like logging or transcribing for us. And that is gonna be a game changer. Because if someone logged for me, my day would be half as long and I wouldn't get these crazy computer migraines I get. So yeah, I'll probably spend like about an hour doing that. I drank coffee all morning, got super buzzed up by the end. That's usually how it is. So it makes for good TV because I'm like jumping all over the place. But then by the time I get back here, I completely crash. So all I've been doing is yawning, filled this up with hot water, beverage of choice, and then I just drink that. And I always pack up one of these. My friend Savannah actually introduced them to me. You can see if, these are the Epic Bars. So these are cool because you know you can pack granola bars, but that's just different granola or just a different protein. I'm really tired. Sources, this is protein too, but this is more meat. This is 13 G of protein gluten-free. I actually don't know measurements of food. I'm not gonna pretend I really know. But my friend recommended these to me because it's just besides for eating granola, it's like you're actually getting some meat, so some real protein. So you should eat that, chug some water, and yeah. I'll probably keep working for about an hour. I'm gonna go track it in the booth and then my day will be done. All right. So I just got in my car, just wrapped my day up. It's about 12.40, so not too bad of a day. That was about like nine hours or so. Pretty typical. That kind of gives you an idea of what it's like for at least a morning reporter. My day side shift is very different, so maybe I'll do a video on that sometime. But it was a really good day. As you can see, I am much more tired now. I'm actually acting more hyper than I am just for this video. What was I saying? Today we helped out with the St. Baldrick's Foundation. That's one of my favorite foundations. Um, it's one of the shows that I look forward to every year because you really do make a difference, which reminds me why I got into this business because I feel like I'm doing something more every day than just punching in and punching out. And even though honestly this job can stress me out a lot sometimes, I do feel like we get to do things and be a part of things that are so special when we're on the clock, which is really amazing. 
and is honestly kind of upping my mood right now just reiterating to myself so if you were interested in getting into the field i hope this gave you a better idea or maybe you're just interested in general i hope this gave you a good idea of what a typical day in the life of a morning reporter is kind of like Cause you're all